Hi everyone. So where I'm at is 50 and wearing glasses. Here they are, multifocals, typical need them for reading the computer and close-up writing, um, just age-related. So rewinding back to two years old, um, my parents discovered I had an issue. I was riding my plastic motorbike right over the edge of the veranda over and over again. And what they discovered was that I had uh, stigmatism, far, very far-sighted. If I looked at anything, it was double. Um, so I started wearing glasses, big, thick, black-framed glasses with elastic around the back to keep them on. Wore them when I fell asleep, wore them in the bath. Ended up with um, a bump on my nose, still got a bit of a scar there. So I've got some evidence to show for that. Wore them all the way through school and got to 16 and absolutely hated them. They were just coming into fashion and I didn't care about that. I was determined to get rid of these things. And I just discovered that Jesus um, is a healer. I knew God the Father growing up, but as a teenager I started to read and discover that Jesus was able to heal. So I was desperate to not wear glasses. But I knew these were really thick glasses and they were unlikely to disappear without some serious action. So what I did is I thought I will show my commitment to God. He needs some help from me um, to show how committed I was. I would fast three Sundays in a row. So that's what I did. I got to the third Sunday and I actually forgot and I ate a biscuit and then was flooded with guilt and felt like I'd broken, I had, had broken my end of the deal and that God might not be able to fully heal my eyes. So I struck a new bargain with him and I said, if you can heal my eyes, even so I can wear contact lenses, that'll do. I'll accept that situation. So shortly after those three Sundays, I went off to the optometrist as it was due to um, every two years and she tested my eyes only to find that they were miraculously healed. Um, it was school, she, she felt that um, this was too much of a far jump for her um, rational brain and her experience, so she gave me some super thin things that she said I should wear to be at school and, and look at the board. Anyway, um, it was holidays um, for three weeks, July holidays, so I didn't wear glasses at all during that time. And went back to school, started after a few days of being at school, I started to feel a, and it was weird, we were actually doing uh, eyes in biology, um, and I started to feel a headache across um, one eye, I don't know which one now, but I just remember sitting in the prep room at boarding school saying, God, you did this, I believe you've healed my eyes, devil, you are not going to take this away from me. And I just basically claimed my healing and just said, Jesus, this is us, you know, I'm, I'm I'm standing on what you've done, the completed work of what you've accomplished. So, um, yeah, just didn't need to wear glasses again. Got through, did graphic design, used these eyes good and properly. Um, and about 40 or so, somewhere around 40, 45, I went for um, an eye test eventually with my kids and Gary. We all went up to Marisburg and had my eyes tested. and. The optometrist was quite amazed and said, you've got pilot vision. So, I mean, they weren't good. They were amazing. I had really good eyes. And then shortly after that, I suppose, I started to um, just feel age setting in and my eyes were deteriorating and writing started to get a little bit fuzzy. But that's all stuff that I'd never experienced before in my early childhood. Um, it was a completely different scenario. So I'm being challenged to pray and fast again possibly but mostly I actually don't mind wearing glasses and um, these are different ones so yeah that that testimony is a real true story and God can meet you if you just give me a little bit of faith he is more than able to accomplish the incredible things